Stairs leading to nowhere. A Christmas card, a purse. Pieces of a life that was taken away. Sonia McIntyre died on October 19th. She passed away when a landslide came crashing down on her home. Oh, this is uh, really bad. It's, uh, you can see the path that this debris flow took down the slope. You can see the, well, they removed the structure that was knocked off its foundation and bombarded by boulders and gravel and sand. The power of the landslide shook this natural hazard expert. It must have been traveling at a very, very high velocity to do that. I'm thinking 20, 30 kilometers an hour. So this woman, unfortunately, uh, had no chance. In just one day, the region was pummeled with 200 millimeters of rain. This is not a very safe place to live. Uh, it's at the base of a steep slope where we get heavy rainfall uh, right along a stream course. And with climate changing as it is, once-in-a-lifetime events are becoming less rare. So atmospheric scientists have been kind of uh, speculating or forecasting that we're going to see more of these extreme, extreme rainfall events, which will trigger more debris flows. Landslides on roads and highways can also be deadly. In 2021, an atmospheric river claimed the lives of five people when a landslide swept away a section of Highway 99, northeast of Pemberton. Uh, and what we're mapping here uh, in red, the different colors of red, are the debris flow hazard zones. In some municipalities, dangerous areas have been mapped. If we have more frequent landsliding, uh, then the high hazard zones will expand. It's possible, if we get larger uh, landslides, that the low hazard zones on the edge of the fan may expand as well, reaching further out onto uh, the floodplain. Brett Eden works with municipalities to address these growing hazards. Uh, we can build structures that change the flow paths uh, of debris flows and landslides, um, directing them away from existing uh, buildings. But the most important thing that we can do is to modify our development plans uh, to ensure that uh, we are not increasing the risk, we're not putting more people in harm's way. The city of Coquitlam told CBC by email that the risks associated with climate change are currently being identified. Governments are, they're very loath to force people out of situ properties. All they can do is advise um, property owners that this is a risky environment. And maybe the property owners don't want to hear that because it could affect their property value. Places of beauty and tranquility, nestled by streams and rivers, and at the foot of mountains, becoming increasingly risky. Camille Vernet, Radio-Canada, Coquitlam.